the P wave and the ECG represents atrial depolarization, which results in atrial contraction. Absence of the P wave with a flat baseline may indicate fine atrial fibrillation, sin or atrial arrest. Amplitude, peaked P waves suggest right atrial enlargement, but have a low predictive value. A P wave with increased amplitude can indicate hypokalemia. It can also indicate right atrial enlargement. A P wave with decreased amplitude can indicate hyperkalemia. Morphology The P wave is a summation wave generated by the depolarization front as it transits the atria. Normally, the right atrium depolarizes slightly earlier than left atrium since the depolarization wave originates in the sear non atrial node in the high right atrium and then travels to and through the left atrium. The depolarization front is carried through the atria along semi-specialized conduction pathways including Bachmann's bundle resulting in uniform shaped waves. Depolarization originating elsewhere in the atria result in P waves with a different morphology from normal. If at least three different shaped P waves can be seen in a given ECG lead tracing, this implies that even if one of them arises from the SA node, at least two others are arising elsewhere. This is taken as evidence of multiple ectopic foci, and is called multifocal atrial rhythm if the rate is a per mil 100 currency, or multifocal atrial tachycardia if the rate is over 100. This appears particularly commonly in exacerbations of chronic obstructive lung disease. Notched and biphasic P waves are commonly seen in the ECG. Some of the morphological forms of P wave are upright. Bifid, peaked, inverted, biphasic, bifid P waves indicate left atrial abnormality, for example dilatation or hypertrophy. If the baseline has totally irregular form this suggests fibrillatory waves of atrial fibrillation or possibly artifact. A sawtooth shaped baseline suggests the flutter waves of atrial flutter. NB with either of these rhythms, if the ventricular rate is fast, the fibrillatory or flutter waves can easily be misinterpreted as P waves. If P waves are not clearly delineated in the surface ECG, a Lewis lead may be used to better visualize P waves. Atrial repolarization, this occurs a mean of 320 milliseconds after the end of the P wave, with a duration of 2 to 3 times that of the P wave and a polarity always opposite to that of the P wave. It is represented on the surface ECG by a so-called tar wave. The clinical relevance of this is that, although a normal phenomenon, the nadir of the tar wave can occur just after the QRS complex and cause street depression similar to the decurring with disease states such as cardiac ischemia. Related pages, electrocardiography, references.